All right, Shalom, Shalom. It's Brother Atazadak here with Israel. I'd like to start off by giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Today we're going to go into Leviticus chapter 8, going into the Hebrew. So, Lord willing, you're edified, giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Let's get right into it. Leviticus chapter 8 verse 1 He spoke the Lord unto Moses to say, Why the bar Yahweh al Masha la Amar? Take unto Aaron and to his sons with him and to the garments and to the oil of anointment. Quach atha Aaron, wa atha banyawa, athawa, wa atha habgadium. Wa atha shaman ha mashach mashacha and to the bull for his sin offering and to the two rams and to the reed basket of unleavened bread. Um, wa atha par ha chataath wa atha shanaya ha ayaya ayalayim. Wa atha saw ha matazawath. So that was a uh, two rams for a sin offer. That is to consecrate Aaron and his sons, right, for the priesthood. And to all the company. You will assemble to the uh, door of the tent of assemblage. Wa atha kal ha aida ha kwahal al pathach achal ma waaid. And he did Moses like which commanded the Lord unto him, and assembled to the company to the door of the tent of assemblage. Waya aisha masha uh, ka ashar. Tazawa Yahawa Athawa Athawa Watha Kwahal Ha Aida Al Patak Ahal Mawaid And he said Moses to the company This is what I have spoken which had commanded the Lord to do Waya Amar Masha Al Ha Aida Za ha the bar ashar tazawa yahawa la aishath. And he brought near Moses unto Aaron and unto his sons, and he washed them in water. Wa yekoarab masha atha aran wa atha banyawa wa ya rachat Atham Bamayim. And he placed upon them the tunics. Was like and he placed upon him to the tunic, and he girded unto him upon a belt. And he clothed and he clothed him uh, with the vesture and placed it upon him. Wayathan Alayawa Atha Ha Katanath Wayahagar Athawa Ba Abanat Wayalabash Athawa Atha Ha Maayal Right, so that vesture is the robe, which is a vesture, right? Which is what you see essentially with the elders and apostles, great millstone wearing, right? 
It's just a simple vesture. I'll give you an example. This would be the vester, right? Under that would be uh, the tunic, right? Which is just the uh, the undergarment, right? We had a banat, which is the belt, which goes over the tunic. Uh, over right under the vesture right and then the ephod goes above it right because the vesture would go all the way down here to the feet right and the ephod would go above the vesture right for example, this would be the vesture or salakia, um, the ephod. And the vesture would hang all the way down to the feet. And he placed upon him to the ephod, and he girded it, uh, and he girded him with it. Um, um, upon the um, slack, yeah. Girdle, right? Because the ephod would just wouldn't have an actual belt onto it. It would be wrapped around, right, uh, the back, right, sort of what you would call today, um, um, what do you call it? Um, which is a modern day, for example, an apron, right? That is the ephod. The chest piece is what holds the Urim and the Thurim and the stones of the 12 tribes of Israel, right? So the girdle itself is just what ties the, uh, um, the ephod uh, from the back, right? Which what keeps it girded, right? It is not another vesture within itself, right? So it says, You place upon him to the ephod or salakia, Wayathan, Layawa, Atha, Ha Apad, Wayahagar, Athawa, Ba Hashab, right? Upon girding the ephod, Ha Apad, right? Because it's part of the ephod. The girdle. And he girded the ephod onto him which was upon him. Right? Waya apad lawa bawa. Right? Now we're going to look into those words. Um, Got them prepared right here. First, you have the tunic. Which is katanath. A tunic. Inner garment. Right. Generally with sleeves. Coming down to the knees. Right, rarely to the ankles. Right, so it was just a um, undergarment, long sleeve undergarment. Right. So let's see. 
let's close that window. Hagar meaning uh, to gird, right? Hagar to gird on, to restrain, right? To gird, not the girdle itself. It's the act of uh, gird, um, um, uh, girding uh, uh, oneself with a with a vesture. Right. Kashab, which is a belt or strap, not necessarily, it's just a, uh, a girdle, a strap, basically. Right. That word abanat is simply a belt. Leviticus chapter 8 and verse 8. And he placed upon him to the breastpiece, and he placed onto the breastpiece, to the urim and to the thurum. Wayasham layawa. Atha ha khashan, Wayathan al ha khashan, Atha ha awarium, Wa atha ha tamayum. Let's look at that word, the breast piece. Khashan. Ornament, use of the breastplate of the high priest. Right, that is the actual uh, breastplate itself. Right. Contrary to popular belief, it is not the ephod itself. Right. Verse nine. And he placed to the Mitri upon his head. And he placed it upon the Mitri uh, or Salakia. And he placed upon him the Mitri, right, which was before his face. Vayasham, um, Atha, Ha, Matazanapath. Al Raashwa, Wayasham, Al Ha Matazanapath, Al Mawal, Panyawa, right, which is the bee tree of the high priest. This was placed on Aaron. Let's look at that word for bee tree literally means to wrap around, right? He died in a mitri, right? The word word is tazanap, right? To wrap, to attire, to roll, to dress, right? Which is, uh, looks something like this. See a lot of brothers wearing these, but this is actually reserved for the high priest. It's not a, it's not of common usage. See, it's just various layers of, of cloth wrapped around the head, which is Dimitri. Really should be of the high priest, right? What the sons of Aaron would give, were given was a turban, which was simply wrapped around their head. Which would look something like this. Right, so you have the Mitri and then you have the turban. 
of the common priests. And that word for turban is magabayu. Magabayu. A cap, a bonnet. It's just a mitri. The root is gabayu, right? Which means a hill lock, a hill, little hill. From Gabai, which just means hill. Let's click on this word Gabai and see what we get. Gabai, the calyx of a flower. A goblet, right? And it's also described to you, uh, used to describe an, a vessel of drinking, a drinking vessel, right? Which would look something like this. <laughs> Which is why uh, the turban looks exactly like a goblet. This this area, which is just wrapped around the head, right? Which, if you compare it to the calyx of a flower, right? It is just the base of the uh, of the flower, right? You have, right? That is the calyx of a flower. In this area. So it says, um, with the plate of gold, which is uh, the the uh, the crown uh, sacred, right, or diadem, the sacred diadem. Ata tazaya taza hazahab nazar hakwadash. Like which commanded uh, the Lord unto Moses, Ka Ashar Tazawa Yahawu Ata Masha, right? Because that word Tazayat Tazayat Taza, right, it signifies it's used in a, a, a variety of applications, right? Let's explore that word, right? As well as Nazar, which means to separate, it's a Nazarite, it also means diadem. Right, or crown, right? Tazayat Taza, which is where you get the word Sizi from, right? And in other parts of the law is is translated as blossom, right? Says Tazaya Taza, a shining plate, a flower, a wing, blossom, flower, shining thing, right? A wing as gleaming in the air, flower plate wing. It's also used to signify the hair, right? A feather, the uh, the, the the hairs of a feather, which is where the word fringe or sizi comes from, right? It's just another way to say fringe. You have gadol, which is a plating, right? Uh, uh, um, which is uh, would be a um, let's get that actually fringe. Good 
doll. Fridge a wreath. Intertwined threads, twisted work. Right. Also used to signify locks, the locks of the Nazrite. But doll also means to be great, to be increased, right? So it says Taziyah Tazah Hazahab, right? Which is a plate of gold, right? Because this is in the sense of something that shines, right? For example, right, you see a plant uh, blossoming, right? And there is water all over it. There's the, the uh, uh, right, dew. So in the sun, it shines, right? So it's a, this signifies a plate. Lock it. Verse Leviticus 8 and 10. And you took Moses unto the oil of anointing. And he anointed unto the tabernacle and to all that was which in it, and he sanctified to it, or he sanctified it, right? Wayekwach, Masha, Atha, Shaman, Ha, Mashacha, Waya, Mashach, Atha, Ha, Mashakan, Wa, Atha, Kal, Ashar. And he sprinkled of it, the oil of anointing that is, upon the altar seven times. And he anointed unto uh, the altar and unto all his instruments. And onto the laver, right? So the word kayar or kawar signifies a pot for washing. That's what it literally means. Kawar means pot. And to its base, right? The word khan, it also means yes, but it means so. Or if you say nakan, it means it is so. But this this case it signifies the base of of the uh, uh the laver right it says uh to sanctify it right why is a mamanawa Al Hab Mazabach Shabai Payamyam Wayamashach Atha Ha Mazabach Wa Atha Kal Kalyawa Wa Atha Ha Kayar Wa Atha Kanwa La Kwadasham And he cast of the oil of anointing upon the head of Aaron, and he anointed unto him to sanctify him. Verse Lackey, and he anointed him to sanctify him. Waya Tazadak, Salaki, Waya Tazak, Mashaman, Ha Mashacha, Al Raash, Aaron, Waya Mashach, Atawa. 
La Quadashwa. Because really we read, and he anointed uh, unto him to sanctify him, right? Wayamashak Atawa La Quadashwa. And he brought near Moses to the sons of Aaron, and he clothed them with the tunics, and he girded them with the belt, right? Um, right? And he girded unto them the turbans, like which commanded the Lord to Moses. All right, let's look at that word habash. So I can get that. Bash to gird about to wrap firmly, right? To bind on to bind about, right? So it's not the same as Kashab. Which is means, which is a girdle. It's kabash, to, as in to wrap around, to wrap. So it says, Wayako Rab, Masha, Atha, Banya, Aaron, Waya Labash, Labasham. Katanath, Wayakagar, Atam, Abanat, Wayakabash, Laham, Magabai, Kabai Wath, Magabayath, right? Ka Ashar, Tazawa, Yahawa, Atha Mosha. And he brought near to the bull for the sin offering. And he, and he leaned Aaron. So like it, and they leaned Aaron and his sons to their hand. Upon its head. Upon the head of the bull. Which was a sin offering. Which is for a sin offering. Wayagash atha par ha hataath. Wayasamak. Aaron, Wabanyawa, Atha, Yedayaham, Al Raash, Por, Ha Hataath. And he slaughtered, and he took Moses unto the blood, and he placed it upon the horns of the altar round about. Wayashachat, Wayakwash, Masha, Ta Hadama Wayatan Al Kwarnath Ha Mazabach Sabiab upon his finger. Wa slakya ba tazabai wa which is what he did when he took the blood right placed it upon the horns of the altar round about with his finger and he purified of sin or Salaka, and he purified from sin to the altar and to the blood which he cast to the base of the altar. 
and he sanctified unto it to atone upon it. Waya Hata'a Ata Hamazabach Wa Ata Hadama Waya Tazak Al Yasad Hamazabach Waya Kwadashwa La Kapar Alayawa And he took and he took to all the fat which was upon uh, the inwards or salakia, yeah, which was upon the inwards and to that which remained of it the, to the liver uh, and to the two kidneys and to its fat and he offered it as incense Moses upon the altar Wayakwach Atha Kal Hachalab Ashor Al Ha Korab Wa Atha Yatarath Ha Kabad Wa Atha Shatayu Ha Kalayath Wa Atha Kalabham Wayakwatar Masha Ha Mazabaha and to the bull, and to its skin, and to its flesh, and to the rest of it, he burned in fire. Wa atha hapar, wa atha arwa, wa atha basharwa, wa atha parashwa, sharap baash. Without the camp, like which commanded the Lord unto Moses, ma hawataza, La Machana Ka Ashar Tazawa Yahawa Atamasha And he brought near to the ram, which is the burnt offering, and they leaned Aaron and his sons to their hands upon the head upon its head, upon the head of the ram. Wayakwarab Atha Ayal Ha Ayla Waya Samakwa, Aaron, Wabanyawa, Atha, Yadiaham, Al Raash, Ha Ayel. And he slaughtered it, and he scattered Moses unto his blood upon the altar round about. Waya Shachat, Waya Zarak, Masha, Atha, Hadama. Al Hamazabach Sabiab And to the uh, ram he dismembered it in pieces and he offered it Moses or Salaki and he offered it as incense Moses to its head and to the pieces and to its fat Wa Atha Ha Ayel Nathach La Natah Yawa Wayakwatar Masha Atha Ha Raash Wa Atha Ha Natahium Wa Atha Ha Pador And to its inwards and to its legs he washed in water Wa Atha Ha Korab Wa Atha Ha Karayim Rachataza Bamayim And he offered it as incense Moses to all the ram upon the altar for a burnt offering that is for an odor pleasant unto uh or Salaki, for an odor pleasant of the fire offerings that is unto the Lord like which commanded the Lord unto Moses. Wayakwatar Masha Atha Kal Ha Ayel Ha Mazabach Ha Mazabacha Ayla Hawa La Rayach Nayachach Asha Hawa La Yahawu Ka Ashor Tazawa Yahawu 
אתה משה. Upon its head, upon the head of the ram. Waya Samakwa, Aaron, Wabanyawa, Ata, Yedayaham, Al Raash, Ha Ayel. And he slaughtered it, and he took Moses of his blood, and he placed it upon the mist of the ear of Aaron. Uh, the right ear, right? Waya Shachat, Waya Kwach, Masha, Madamawa, Waya Than, Al, Thanawak, Azan, Aaron, Ha, Yam, Yaman, Yam, Nyath, Yaman Yath, right? Wa'al, Pahan, or Salakia. And upon the thumb of his hand, right, and upon the thumb of his foot, right. Wa'al, Pahan, Yadwa, Ha, Yaman, Yath. Wa'al, Pahan, Regalwa, Ha Yaman Yath. Right? So basically, Moses slaughtered and he took of the blood, placed it in the midst of the ear of Aaron, his right ear, and upon his thumb of his hand, right, his right hand, and upon the thumb of his right foot. The word Bahan signifies the toe, whether it be, right, the toe or the thumb, right? Salakia. Mm. So like, yeah. Azan just means ear. Verse 24. And he brought near to the son's Aaron. Or Salakia, um, and he brought near to the sons of Aaron, and he placed Moses of the blood upon the midst of their ear. Waya Quarab, Atha Banya, Aaron, Wayatan, Mosha, Man Hadama, Al Tanawak, Azanam, which is their right ear. Ha Yaman Yaman Yath. And upon the thumb of their hand, right? And upon uh, the, the toe of their foot, right? Wa'al Bahan Yadam Ha Yaman Yath. Wa'al Bahan Wagalam Ha Yaman Yath. And he scattered Moses unto the blood upon the altar round about. Wayazarak Mosha Atha Hadama Al Hamazabach Sabiab. See how many verses we got left. Verse 25. And he took to the fat and to the hind and to all the fat which is upon the inward parts, upon the inwards, 
the Salaki all to, to all the fat, which is with the inward inwards, and to that which remains of it. Wayakwah Atha Ha Halab Wa Atha Ha Alya Wa Atha Kal Ha Halab Ashar Al Kwarab Al Ha Kwarab Wa Atha Yatara Basically saying and he took to the fat and to the uh, uh rare and to all the fat which is with its inwards and to that which remains of it which is the kidney the salakia the liver and to the two kidneys and to its fat and to the leg right ha kabad Wa tha shathia ha kal yath wa tha khalabhan wa tha shawak ha yam yan and from a basket of reeds of the unleavened bread which was before the Lord wa masol ha matazawa shor lapanya yahawa uh took one of the porphyritic cakes of cakes of unleavened bread and the porphyritic cakes of bread which were upon oil one and the flat cakes one and he placed it with uh, the fat and with the leg right so it reads laquach halath mataza mataza achath wa halath lacham shaman achath wa require kwa Achad Wayasham Al Ha Halabium Wa Al Shawak Ha Yam Yan. Basically, reading and from the basket of reeds of unleavened bread, which was before the Lord, he took of the porphyritic cakes of unleavened bread one and the porphyritic cakes of bread upon oil one. And the flat cakes one, and he placed it with the fat and with the right leg. And he placed to all of it upon the palms of Aaron and upon the palms of his sons, and they waved to it for a wave offering before the Lord. Wayathan Atha Hakal. Al Kapia Aaron Wa Al Kapia Banyawa Wayanap Atom Tanapa Lapanya Yahawa And he took Moses on two of them from upon their palms, and he offered it as, as incense. Upon the altar, um, with the burnt offering, uh, of consecration, right? Which is one cake of unleavened bread, one cake of oil bread, one wafer with um with the fat with the fat parts and the right leg Wayathan Atha Hakal Al Kapia Aaron Wa Al Kapia Banyawa 
Wayanap, Atum, Tanapa, Lapanya, Yahawa. Oh, Salaki already read that. And he took and he took it, Moses. Uh, took Moses. He took Moses to upon their palms. And he took Moses to it from upon their palms, and he offered it as incense upon the altar. Wayakwach, Masha, Atam, Ma'al, Kapyaham, Wayakwatar, Ha Mazabacha. Um, which is Salakia, uh, Al Ha'ila, meaning with the burnt offering. Of uh, consecration, Malayim. For them, Hama, for an odor pleasant of the fire and offerings, that is unto the Lord. La Rayach, Nayachach, Asha, Hawa, La Yahawa. And he took Moses unto the breast. And they waved it as a wave offering before the Lord from the ram of consecration. Wayakwach, Masha, Ata, Ha, Chaza, Waya, Nayap, Nayap, Nayapwa, Tanapa, Lapanya, Yahawa, Ma, Ayel, Ha, Malayim. To Moses it was divided, like which commanded the Lord unto Moses. La Masha, Haya, La Mana, Ka Ashar, Tazawa, Yahawu, Atha, Masha. And he took Moses of the oil of anointing, and from the blood which was upon the altar. And he sprinkled it upon Aaron, and upon their garments, and upon his sons, and upon their garments of his sons with him. Wayakwak Masha, Mashaman, Ha Mashacha, Waman, Ha Dama, Ashar, Al Ha Mazabach, Wayaza, Al Aaron, Al Bagadiawa. Wa'al Banyawa Salaki Wa'al Bagadia Banyawa Atawa And he sanctified unto Aaron and to his garments and to his sons and to the garments of his sons with him Wa'yakwadash Atha Aaron Atha Bagadiawa Wa Atha Banyawa Wa Atha Bagadia Banyawa Atawa And he said Moses unto Aaron and to his sons uh, Rose to the flesh at the door of the tent of assemblage. Wa Amar Masha Al Aran Wa Al Banyawa Bashalwa Atha Ha Bashar Tatah Achal Mawaid. And there you will eat of it. Um, and there you will eat unto it. And to the bread, which is in the basket of reed, reeds, for consecration, like which 
I have, command, I have been commanded to say unto Aaron and to his sons, they would eat of it. Why Yisham Tha Akal Wa Thawa Wa Tha Halaham Ashar Basal Ha Malayam Ka Ashar Tazawayataya La Amar Aaron Wabanya Wa Ya Akalawa Verse 32, and the remainder of the flesh and of its bread upon fire you shall burn. Waha Nathar Babashar Wabalacham Baash Tasharapwa. From the door of the tent of assemblage, you will not go out seven days, even till the days are fulfilled. The days of your consecration, because seven days have been, um, will, f will fulfill, or it's like seven days, um, is what is to be fulfilled which is given to your hand, right? Wama pathach achol ma waid laa ta tazaawo shabaitha yamayim ad yawam malath yamaya malayakum kaya shabaitha yamayim yamala Atta you'll come. And that the last part of it really should read, they will fulfill to that which has which is in your hand. As in given in your hand of the flesh to eat, to reside. At the entrance of the tent of meeting for seven days, right? Says Yamala Atha Yadkam. Like which should be done in the day this, which commanded the Lord to do to atone upon you. Ka Ashar Aisha Bayawam. Taza, Tazawa, Yahawu, La Aishath, La Kapar, La Yakum. Leviticus 8 and 35. And at the door of the tent of assemblage, you will reside or dwell uh, day and night, seven days. And you will keep uh, to to your duties, which is unto the Lord. And you shall not die, because so I have been. I have commanded you. Wa pathach chol mawaid the shabwa yawama wa layela shabaitha yumayum. Wa Shamartham Atha Ma Shamarath Yahawu Wa La'a Thamawathwa Kaya Khan Tazawayataya And they did so Aaron and his sons to all which had which was spoken, which commanded the Lord in the hand of Moses. Waya Aisha Aaron Wa Banyawa Atha Kal Hadabaryam Ashar Tazawa Yahawu Bayad Masha Right 
So this is Leviticus chapter 8, going to the Hebrew. Lord, when you were edified, it's for the Atazadak here of Israel. And as always, giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Makakwadash. Double honors to the others and apostles of the great millstone. Kwam Yasha'Allah, Bab the Ball, Shalom.